Um, but yeah, if they released it when like the time Rayman Legends was supposed to come out originally, I feel like that would have done them quite a lot of good because there was like barely anything coming out in February, and um, I feel like that would have helped out. Wait, what? Rayman Legends was supposed to be out around what February? Yeah, which is a really which is. I will. Yeah. Forgive Ubisoft for that. Still yeah. want Rayman to Smash though, but I will never oh, yeah. them for that. Yeah, because I understand wanting to make it multi plat because more people can play the game the better, and the more people who can play the game, more sales. I can understand that, in theory, but. Three? Huh? <laughs> in theory, they yeah. at least get around the same time as Grand Theft Auto V, so. Yeah. I understand why they did it, but at the same time. You're releasing it alongside GTA 5 when originally you were re re releasing it alongside basically nothing as far as I remember. So it had like no competition, which would have helped its sales like tenfold. So it's like, man, I can't, um, I find it hard to imagine uh, develop, like Ubisoft. Um, employees just being like, y you know what would be a good idea? Uh, making our one of our hit 2D platformer series go up against GTA 5. Yeah, that's gonna go well. Let's do it. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't, but they can't be. They didn't want to. If they want to avoid that situation. They could have kept the original release date. Yeah, it's like they can't be that daft. Like it's like. You can't be that silly to not know about GTA 5 coming out. Okay, you're gonna like. Okay. <laughs> nah. That's always gonna be a pain in my neck for like the rest of the time, I swear. Gosh, for me, some coin. What? Uh, that final coin is actually oh. in the in the boss itself. This is actually a really cool Bowser fight. Because it starts... Hey, we're, in the, the final, we're in the final zone, I forgot. Yeah. The castle itself isn't too special. And the DS one was a lot more interesting. But this... Yeah, the, the, the Bowser fight specifically is actually really cool. Uh, this, part's, th this part is pretty standard, but... The rendition of the new Super Mario Brothers theme here. Yeah. Also, this is like I find it funny how you only you only see Bowser at the end of the game. So that's kind of interesting. Yep. So that's, <laughs> so that's the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. He's like Bob. Also, the the uh, enemy statues in the background. The game. <laughs> Man, I like the I like the statues in the background. By the way, nice background. Yeah. Wand, make my monster grow. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not turning into Dry Bowser in this game. <laughs> So yeah, th this is really cool. Murdered Bowser in the last game. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Junior literally had to use, like, a magic cauldron to bring him back to life. Yeah, I, I like how this is basically a platformer. I, I like how this is basically a platformer final boss. Um, and this is... Yeah, this is easily the best, uh, uh, final Bowser fight in the- Pfft! <laughs> <You> did it! <laughs> I beat Mario! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh god, let's try that again. But no, th th this fight's really cool. Um, the 
other ones like every other game does the whole giant Bowser gimmick, but they don't do it nearly as well as this one. I remember the one in 2 just being, uh, you kind of just have to avoid generic claw swipes, uh, and you just ride these bone platforms, which is not that interesting. <laughs> Sorry, hey. I'm back. Hello. I like how the character is gone now, so it's like, Mario has to literally respawn and have a rematch. Yeah. Alright, jump and do your thing. There we go. Bye. I love when the XP was play for a Mario U. Ow. You know, he just bounces over everybody to the Switch. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. He just kills them all off right there. Just nobody just ever made the nobody torture he had. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Bye. I don't remember if it's Rio or like what it, what game it was, but uh, one of the Mario and Sonic Olympic games remixed this theme, actually, and uh, they just. What's that? Getting a remix of a new Mario you, new Mario game? New Mario music track that isn't what the main theme? Yeah, right. It's, a, it's actually really good. It's probably even better than the original version. Be surprised. In the fire up. Yeah, there's this. Um, this game definitely ends strong, um, I'd probably say, like, not even, um, I would honestly argue that this final battle, uh, rivals, would rival even, uh, Mario World itself, because, like, this is really cool. Ryan Bowser case? Yeah. It's a good finale to the game. God. Ah! This... <laughs> oh god, we're bringing that back. Uh, like... They... They do reuse, um, Giant Bowser a lot, especially nowadays, but this is how you do it right, I think. Honestly, what is Bowser not giant? <laughs> That's true. I mean, size is always fluctuating in the game. So yeah. Like, oh my God, the I I really <laughs> I really didn't like how in Galaxy Two was pretty much how do we make Bowser more intimidating? Let's just make him like planet sized. It's like okay, but you're kind of missing the point of what made him intimidating in Galaxy One. Yeah. I didn't like that either. <laughs> in the game. In the game. And the game's over. Yep. <laughs> I like how he's still in place. I like how he had to catch up. <laughs> what happened? Mario lost the toilet. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Guess he drained the lava moat or something. Yeah, so he just falls down he a fell pit. Fell the ground like the ground like collapsed. Yeah. How's the castle still intact? Nintendo logic. Well, it won't be for very uh, long. Oh, uh, yeah. Give it a moment. <laughs> Double jump, Peach, go. <laughs> and uh, double jumping is Daisy's ability. <laughs> well, she's floating. <laughs> that is a ridiculous to... getup you got there. <laughs> Screw you too, princess. <laughs> I can do this for your birthday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. Peach needs oh. a hug and a slice of cake. <laughs> well, I need a lot more than cake myself. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, we're in this game. I'm just gonna pretend this is an homage to Mario Advance 2's opening. <laughs> Probably is. I 
don't even know what that's referring to. They, they, it's, um, it's, it's Mario World, but how it works is they arrive here on two blimps. Oh, okay. Hmm. I want a blimp with Mario's M on it, and Luigi's already there ahead of him. Oh. Poor Luigi. He, he even has a cape that are ready for Mario. Hmm. Dude, the intro. <laughs> no! <laughs> and why should I care? Listen, I'm tired, okay? <laughs> Mario thinks Secret World is like some kind of hidden in your window or something. Hey. Love so, his credits music. Yeah, this Love is a good credits fame. And uh, another one of these games where you just destroy the credits. Head bopping to the music. Yeah, boy. Um, Who are we this credits is pretty long, so do we want to do Final Thoughts now? Mario um, has fun. Mario kill. Um. Do you guys want to go first? Because I feel like I've talked a lot. <laughs> um. Um. I'll, I'll say that. Mario. Um, <laughs> uh, this, because I never played. Um, I actually never played DS. Oh really? Oh, you haven't. Huh. Yeah. No, I haven't. I well, I I. I played it a little on like a cousin's DS, but not too far. But um, regardless, this is where I play. I this is my intro to the new series. Okay. It's not a and bad uh, intro. yeah, I mean, like because I played that this first, I guess you know I would the, the inherent like problems that everybody thought says about the DS that it, or that 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 it's so similar to DS rather kind of don't apply to me. Okay. So I have a bit more of a forgiveness for this. All but, right. um, I think it's still a fun game, even though I've only played it, uh, multiplayer a handful of times, but, and, uh... I, I do have fun with- I do- I did have fun with this game, it's just, uh... I'm kind of... I don't know, I, I think- I feel like in terms of 2D Mario, I, I just can't come back to this one much without a good inspiration from... Mm. Um, I think- I think I would rather play you, to be honest. But, um, that's just kind of it. But, it, okay. that's kind of it, actually. That's pretty much what I'm gonna say. Carl Martin A. That's for... What's our Koji Gondo? <laughs> it's, Carl it's Carl Martin A, there's no S. <laughs> <laughs> um... What do you got well, to say, Scrappy? Carl, I'm well, not just this long-lost cousin. <laughs> but you're always that's a uh... <laughs> That's the war- that's, that's Carl Martin A's own Wario. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, I don't think I have much. My thoughts on this game aren't particularly complex. I only there's only two two D Mario games that I've actually beaten to completion, and this is one of them. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Super Mario World. I, okay. Like, I I err more towards the modern two D Mario games to begin with. So. Oh, I, I can I understand that. Mario One. I actually. Three two D Mario. I'll say this, I actually, overall, I actually prefer how the new, the uh, modern 2D games feel to control and just play overall than the old ones. Like... Water sun! Oh, that's a lot shorter than I thought it was. Alright, never mind. Yeah, I had to mess around just for that little bit. Why don't you? Meanwhile, I like how Larry still has to catch up to everybody because he was the first one. Yeah. Googling gets them a little spotlight. <laughs> yeah. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Also, this causes the castle to be this that shake. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Just need some ice. Ow! Yay! Final world. Is this the? All right. Actually, no. Let's make. Hold on. First, let's check the title screen. Uh, Sonic Unleashed. Uh... <laughs> Yay! Shiny. Screw you, Luigi. 
Now we just need to get the stuff, the two stars in World 9, and then it's fully complete. Um, before, so before what do we need to get all World 9? It's one is beat World 9, and then one is get all the star coins there? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, before we do that, right. do we, do we want to finish up Final Thoughts now? Because we are definitely not going to be able to think of that during World 9. Um, yeah, um, I think, uh, Scrappy, do you have any more to say? I mean, I haven't played this game since 2013, but I hope my Jeez. memory is good enough to remember that I had fun with it. Okay. Like, it's... it... it does yeah, what it needed to do. It was a... Game. I think that's the best way to describe the new series, actually. It's like, they're fine games when you're playing them, it's just that when you start to think about things in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I mean, I still remember just screwing around with my brother and the levels, like... Want to find nostalgia, but wait. What am I trying to say? Nostalgia is not a way to raise a game's score, but mm. that's how I feel. I like, I hold, I have familial memories do because of this game, so I hold on, hold this in a higher regard than I probably would for most other games. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with nostalgia increasing enjoyment. Um, still, I don't know, um, you got anything else or should I go? I mean, I think it's a better game than New Super Mario Bros. 1, but mm. I still probably play this more than most, I still personally play this over the NES Mario games, but that- Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, Mario 3 can be argued for me, but- I definitely play this over Mario 1, um, but st I don't know. Uh, as for me, um, I do st I do still really like this game, like, again, as Jason said, like, when you're in the moment, this game's a lot of fun, um, but, like, when you start to dig into it, the problems start to become more and more apparent. Um, I will say... Th Huh? I set the light on the table for a moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, I will say that uh, this game, I'd say, is more fun to play than the DS1 was. But I don't... I wouldn't say that... I don't think that the, the Wii get this Wii game um, felt like it, it's... It, didn't really, it didn't, doesn't feel like it reached its full potential like the DS1 did. Whereas it... it when I complete the DS one, um, it felt like the game was basically as good as it could have been. Like they did a lot of cool things with what, the way they felt they hid star coins. Um, the secrets were very well hidden and everything. And the game overall, I thought was fairly challenging. Whereas this game, I don't think the secrets were anywhere near as challenging or, or difficult to find which is which is not inherently a bad thing but um i just feel like ds made you i just feel like ds did a lot more interesting things and uh did, did a lot more with its mechanics for, with what it had um i will say that this game did a, a much better jo job with the new power-ups because ds was trying to be like a mix of how 2d mario power-ups work and also kind of mixed in the uh what is it the for situational 3d power-ups yeah like the way they're used because it's like you're never going to want to use a mega mushroom if unless you like specifically need it because you don't want to break a pipe you need to go into or, or for the level of fast, unless you're really just running through. Yeah, or like you don't want to use a mini mushroom unless you specifically need it. Um, so like they did you a. Use the blue shell. Yeah, the blue shell was the best of the fray, in terms of just doing something, uh, diff doing something cool and different, and uh, not feeling like a specific like use for a, for just puzzles and nothing else. Um, but th this game did a lot much better job in feeling right for 2D Mario power-ups. Um, they aren't, like, too broken or anything, and they get the job done well, and, um, 
They're fun, silly designs. I like the penguin suit. Um, and so does. Parasit, Goofy, yeah, but yeah, it's effective. It yeah. Does its job better than its original predecessor did. Yeah. Um. Again, like we said earlier, like the multiplayer as it's weird because I I understand why they had to make the game the way it is, but the um the multiplayer also hindered the game like we said earlier, and I feel like if this if this was just a single player game like the DS one was or like the the uh, NES games and Mario World, um I feel like the level design would be a lot more solid and uh, um a lot less like space like, a lot less space with nothing there. Um, because that's, a lot of the levels use a lot of just empty space, um, and when you look back at just looking at all the levels and stuff, it becomes a lot more apparent, and especially when you compare it to the DS game, when they didn't really do that, like, uh, really much at all, from what I remember, it, um, kind of- because they kind of didn't have to, they had to- Yeah. Like, when I- and what I'm getting is that you, I mean, I'm probably wrong for assuming this, but would you enjoy this game more if you had someone playing with you? If I had one, if I had like, like one, maybe two other people playing, then probably, but they also have to like, uh, they, they'd also have to like, keep up with you. Keep, well, keep up with, keep up with me. Uh, on a base level and also just have some basic knowledge of how to play a Mario game because uh, I played this game with uh, Joey and a couple of others at one point and uh, not I Don't want to sound mean or anything, but like Joey is not good at Mario games whatsoever <laughs> So that was pretty painful well, was he just like not? Well, yes, he was those guys who for, who forgets the run button exists. He doesn't run at all. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at that. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no, it's fine. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like in terms of like just being a multiplayer Mario game, this game works fine. Um, again, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. But when I think of replaying a Mario game. Uh, let alone a 2D one, uh, this doesn't immediately come to mind. Like, it's a fun time, um, and I have pl fun playing it, but I tend to get worn out by just free worlds or so. Like, it doesn't take long for me to kind of get burnt out, burn out from this game, um, which yeah. doesn't really happen to a lot of the others, which probably speaks a lot to uh, the just level design and general quality where again there's nothing wrong with it but as because it's so safe until the end of the game uh it doesn't exactly make me care too much to marathon this um whereas like mario world or whatever i can go through most of it in like one or two goes how yeah like how far like, yeah for, when we played mario world it only took us about two or three times yeah I guess there's also the thing that, like, there's, um, there are quite a lot of levels in this game when you just, when you think of, like, all the different levels in the worlds and whatnot, but, I don't know, this, this game's weird, like, I, I really do like this game, uh, but... Joker, 8 out of 10. Yeah, I don't know. Fun to play, fun to play, thing out. Yeah. Here we go. Game have more levels than Mario World though. I don't know. I I don't actually know if it feels like it um, does. I think we're ninety six total like exits. Ninety six total 96 exits. exits. Yeah, I don't know about levels. I I'd have to look back at that. Actually, you know what? This will be a good time to just stack up on lives. Oh, not lives. Uh, uh items. Right. Yeah. Um, I guess in, since I'm doing this, uh, one thing I will say is that. The Toad- the- this Toad House minigame is easily the best of the new Super Mario Bros. games. And probably my favorite yeah, way to- Yeah, but you keep losing to them. <laughs> yeah, I- I've been sucking at them horribly in this playthrough, but, um, in, uh, just what they are themselves. 
these are easily my these are easily my favorite way to get power ups in in a 2D Mario game. At, at least from memory. Um, but yeah, this is this is fine. Okay, well, at least it wasn't Bowser. Nice. Uh, hey, whatever. That's, the Bowser, the Bowser that's barely enough yeah. nothing. Yeah. Okay, we may as well show this thing. off. Yeah, um. I think Mario World is just a faster paced game. You don't have to stop to search for every star coin to unlock levels and. That's true. Oh, that's the one thing I will. I will that's one thing I will say. Uh, uh, the thing. I really like the star coin. I might as well show some of these off just because. Um, I will oh, say. Oh, yeah, I'm already. Like, <laughs> they make you feel like. So. Like, the. I remember these things like being like crazy, like, skillage, compared to what, uh, you'd probably be able to do. <laughs> um, but... I don't think they have a one-up trick. Yeah. Oh, how do you get a one-up? Alright, then. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, what, what was I saying? Compare, I think you're gonna compare the star coins of this series to the dragon coins of Mario World. Yeah, no, yeah, I was gonna say, um, one thing that kind of always bothered me, um, like, not to a huge extent, but something that always kind of annoyed me at the back of my mind whenever I played Mario World is that while the lo getting an extra life is nice, the dragon coins don't really amount to anything, whereas, like, um, the star coins in this series, uh, always gives you an excuse to look around and be thorough, um, and the secret exits just kind of add to that even further. And I think the star coins alone are probably one of the best things this series, in, like, like, uh, started. Because it gives, it gives the player an excuse to explore the levels and be more, um, Thorough with um, their exploration, like it. That was really. That realm was actually really smooth. Yeah, yeah. These <laughs> skill super skills. I'm focusing. Sorry. Yeah. I'll put on one for one of the later levels. Okay. I don't know how to unlock some of these. Like, I don't know what. Um. Let's do super skill three three. Yeah. Um. What is this? Um, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 uh... Star coins. Yeah, the star coins, again, it's like, I feel like the, the, they're probably this series, like, biggest, uh, or best new addition to the series, because, you know, um, the 2D games up to, up to New Mario DS didn't really, you didn't really have a collectible like that, and it, I think it's a good incent incent incentive for pro players to like get more out of the game and look for these hidden things that make you unlock like in the DS game's case more levels and toad houses and in this game's case uh, a special like <laughs> yeah this is like god jeez this is actually speed run right here yeah I was gonna say, like I was saying earlier, like the, the these makes you feel like insignificant, pretty much. But no, um. Yeah. Oh god, that was all right. I didn't even think about doing that. That was actually kind of sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Be hilarious if these star coins counted. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, should we hit the roll now? Or oh, actually, what's one of the what's the one up trick? All right. So one like. Uh, there was one like. 
I know what this one is, so. Oh, what is it? It's just uh, jumping on the cannonballs. Yeah. Um, By three. But yeah, uh, I like that it set it separates the uh, pros from the uh, casual players. Because uh, one thing I like, uh, one thing I like that I don't think enough people really make pay attention, like make attention to, is that uh, m for the most part, like there are some exceptions, like 3D Land, but most of the Mario games give you multiple opportunities to play like different different levels. So like if you're stuck on one, you can try like one or two others. Um, that was eight lives. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's not endless one up, you liar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this will be the last one. Um, yeah, it's like, I, I like that they that they do that in these games, and it also kind of kind of makes me a lot more. Yeah, I think I get where this is going to. Um, yeah, I, the fact that you already have like different levels to choose from. Kind of makes me not really like uh, Super Guide even more because I feel like that I feel like Super Guide ruins the whole point of playing a video game because it's like I understand because I I understand wanting to uh, make it oh uh oh wow ah uh -huh. huh that's clever um, that was cool that's eleven lines um. But no, it's like, Super Guide is weird to me because I understand why they do it, but I feel like, okay, I feel like if they, if they were gonna, if they were gonna have to include a Super Guide, fine, but I feel like the way they should have done it is, uh, one, have the option to disable it so it doesn't, uh, just show up and be, like, all condescending, it's like, do you need help and all this? And another thing I would say is that they should have made it so uh, it they they should have made it so it doesn't actually complete the level for you, so you can just move on, because that just ruins the whole point of, the point of playing a video game to me. If you're going to include it at, at all, I feel like all it should do is show you how to play through the level efficiently, uh, but don't actually beat the level. If that makes sense. Like, don't make it so you can continue by just spamming Super Guide, because you can do that if you don't care. And I feel like that's just really dumb. And I don't like that. That's what the player, that's what the player wants, and that's what the player wants. Not really our call. I mean, well, true. Be fair, I think it'd be funny to, uh, well, to be fair, I think it'd be funny just watching a playthrough of Luigi walk in taking a stroll. <laughs> yeah. I mean, true. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Everyone there's has dexterity like us. Like mm -hmm. I consider it pretty forward thinking that they can, for those who don't have the hand coordination for it, they can at least still enjoy the game. Yeah, I don't know. I I can understand. I can understand that. I suppose, but I've just never been too much of a fan of it. Again, it, it, I feel I feel like having multiple levels to choose from is already a pretty good uh, way to work around it, for the most part. Um, and if you ha if you just had the super guide as a way to show how to be get through the level um, well, I feel like that should be good enough for the most part, but yeah, I don't know. Not for us. <laughs> Where's the last star coin? Keep going. Yeah, it's not her. Oh. <sighs> Maybe it's one of those that just get over. Maybe. What? Oh my gosh, are those toad escort missions here too? Yeah, screw you, Toad. How did you even get here? It's a good question. Oh man, this, I feel kind of bad uh, in a way, but like, it's the funniest thing where 
Where? Oh, I didn't actually want that. Whatever. Um. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm um, paused. Yes. Okay, you can't exit course. Yeah, no, you have to beat the level. You have to beat the level. Um, you exit course with like power attack. Yeah. Um. Wait, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. Something funny. Clearly. What about the toad missions? Uh, I don't think so. It was just like. It was just like. I'm confused that I said, I want! Yeah. Bob, Bob! Yeah, this is gonna. Ah! That looks suspicious down there. I don't know if that's a thing. Probably not, because it's supposed to be the second one. We need a thing. Alright, now it's gonna be more of a head. Ground pound. Ground pound every pixel. I don't. It's probably in a pipe. Is this more into me? Yeah. Uh, again. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's too easy. <laughs> oh, I was gonna like a fun jump. It's like a jump you would make in, in Mario in, in, in Lost Levels. Yeah. Without the spin, yeah, without the spin, it's like a Lost Level jump. Yeah. Oh, that's like, another thing. Like... What? No, I was gonna say, just a t small thing. Uh... The be in terms of like controls, uh, one of the best things this game introduces is the spin jump, because like that feels so good to use. I mean, you're at the mercy of motion controls, so it doesn't always work how you want it. But uh! thank God there was thank God there was land there. Thank God there was a little bit of yeah, thank God there was a small lip there. Yeah, seriously. Um, okay, then, okay, said something like, um, um, what's it? Porky Puff is back. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to backtrack what you said on my, you said a moment ago. Have they used these platforms, like, at all throughout the game? This, this feels new. Uh, I think they used it in- I think they used it in Hmm. It was yeah, a similar that. gimmick. What? It was a similar okay. gimmick in, uh, the Poison Jungle, but it wasn't uh, exactly like this. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, big friend. What? Does this qualify as a Big Bertha, or no? I don't know. I, maybe? I... Uh, I feel like a P-Switch. I, I feel like I need a P-Switch. The line of coins makes me suspicious. I'm just gonna go back just to be sure. Oh, well, it's that. There's a lot of level we skip. Okay, never mind. No! Are you guys still there? Yes. Okay. 
Hey, it's that classic thing from Super Mario World. Yep. I do appreciate this game for bringing back the whole. I, d I don't remember what the last game was before before this that did the whole final extra world thing, but I'm glad this game brought it back. Um, honestly, I don't think there was any other Mario game that had like a proper post game <laughs> since Super Mario World. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm struggling to think of one too. Mario 64 D oh, Mario 64, I guess. Mm. And Rainbow Ride. Whatever that the level's called. Uh I dunno. Oh god. Alright, now I just awkwardly slide under these. Cool. I haven't played Mars 4 to completion ever. Oh really? That's interesting. <laughs> it's probably I, 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 I kinda hmm? I assume that the Rainbow Rainbow Cruise because you know Smash Brothers, that's how I know it was like post game or something like something of that sort. No, that was that was the final ma main level, but uh, I there isn't really Rainbow Rainbow Run? Uh Rainbow Rain Cruise. Or Rainbow Ride in 64's case. Um, oh yeah, I like that level to be honest. Uh, no, not really. Um, but no, 64 to be doesn't. Fair, I'll, 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 to be fair, I think the secret area in the in the, in the opposite like corner is even worse. Mm. Getting all oh. the red coins. Oh right, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That usually that I <laughs> that either takes me one try or like ten. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of a mess. This is just like, Bullet Bill, Bullet Bill's the level, the game, the movie. Excuse me, Harry, it's called Bullet Bill Hell. <laughs> uh, I don't know when to use this power block. Yes. What the hell was <laughs> this? Jason. This is just a pack of, this is just a pack maze. <laughs> Sorry, what's the problem here, Mary? How do I... I don't know where to go! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Get in there! Oh. <laughs> well, life is over. Da, 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 da. It's at the Catherine okay. game over right now. Man. Love is dead. Watch out, you. I have your car is calling you. <laughs> Don't get Harry guess, I think. Kinda his persona, so. Do you, yeah, do you remember the do you remember the episode? Oh, oh. it's gone. You can't get it now. But well, I just kill me, whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, do you remember the episode where um you had to force to date that one girl? Oh room? right, yeah. Yeah. And so... like her ringtone ring was the Catherine game over theme. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah! Oh my god. Uh, uh, the bullets are smart. No, I messed up. As soon as I slid off the bullet bill uh, post, I was like, done. Why are Bowser's bullet in here? Dunno. It's a bullet hell shooter. Nah, a bullet hell shooter that's less intense than Toho because. Well, I mean, it's hard to be as intense as Toho, but. So, well, I don't know. This is the Ikaruga le level then. <laughs> Cuphead. Yeah, I can oh, see Cuphead. God. I can see Cuphead. I don't know when to use this. Like right there, probably points above. Did you, did you see those coins that were above you when you? Before yeah, you I, I saw the coins. Just like They're probably there. I hope so, because like, God. Well, they don't usually hide it random. There's usually a bunch of coins to give it, so to give, to give it a hint. Oh, 
or like maybe it's up there. Maybe. Like try it when you see the coin. No. I don't. Mm. I don't know. Well, 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 what, we're, well, we don't even know if that star, that star coin up here is even the first one or the second. When you have a power block, I just get like concerned. Remember, um, go to, get to the left area as much as you can. Yeah. Go. Up, up, there you go. And then go through her. Don't, don't. I hate everything. No, you don't. You love hugs. <laughs> you love the silly goose, right? <laughs> Mario loves death. <laughs> oh, oh boy. This brings back Man, memories. My goodness, worth the body at points. I remember dying a lot to the- Oh, I remember what I was gonna say earlier. Um, <laughs> the funniest thing is that, um, what made me realize that I can't really marathon this game is that we- me and Joey and the, the others played through this game in like two sessions. And by the time we were done with it, we were like at World 9, and we were like just kind of dead lying on the sofa. Just like, uh, we can't do this anymore. So we literally, all we did was just boot up World 9, played level 1, just stood there because we couldn't be asked. <laughs> so we just literally stood there until the enemies came and killed us. It's like, okay, game's over. <laughs> Try there. No. Okay, I have no idea. I guess we'll just see. Wait, maybe wait. It killed. It killed all the bullet bills. Maybe it's a live getter. Maybe. All right. Let's not get stuck on things, please. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, that is the first one. All right. Okay, it was the first one. Right. Oh. Wait, there's a pipe there. I think we'll be on our way out. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> that works. Shotgun! Gonna hope there's nothing to the left. More go down. I'm waiting- oh god. I'm waiting for- I remember one of the star coins being like- I'm, I'm not even talking about n nine. Like si there. No, no, no. It's another level. Uh, but I remember <laughs> another, like a star coin. Oh, we did miss. We did miss something. Okay, we'll we'll play the level again. I do, I I want to at least get these two. Um. <laughs> I remember a level having a really annoying star coin in it, and I'm not even talking about. I'm not even talking about nine seven. How long is this? <laughs> I don't know about you, I really do like the ground theme. Yeah, I do too. Uh, uh, I think there's a one-up room. Probably. Um, with the exception of New Super Mario Bros. 2 for, like, one obvious reason, uh, I, do, I don't think music is... Uh, huh? What, 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 what do you mean the one obvious reason? Uh, I, I was going to say... No, no, no. It's no, nothing about the actual gameplay. Um, one thing I will say is that um, one thing that the new Super Mario Bros. games don't do wrong is the music, I think. Because I think the songs in... I think the music in these games overall is pretty solid. Um, two... Two kind of being a, an exception to that rule because it's basically just recycled themes with, like, added... <laughs> bar layers, and it's like the most stupid and lazy thing. I should have hired Spiral Mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my contribution today. I'm, I'm eating wings right now because I haven't had much food today. Fair enough. I just have like four bowls of soup. Okay, so. I have to fill my. Oh, tongue. wait. Wait. I see that up there. Don't think I don't. Ah! Okay. This is like a bonus room. Yeah. Go! No! Oh god! Dead. I think I messed this up. Oh, you suck. 
Well, you can probably go back up there. Probably. Yeah, okay. Oh, you no, can't- switch is gone. That is so bullcrap! <laughs> You're probably trying to stop even grinding. Maybe, but still. I have an idea. Hog powers, go. Um, and the recharge. Um. <laughs> Oh god. Da -da 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 -da. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. Whoa! That was really weird. What? I like froze the Koopa like as I was getting hit, so I just kind of awkwardly jumped in like inside the ice cube block. I don't know. The star coin is up there. Okay. I'm not looking at a guide. <laughs> no! <laughs> That gives you, like, no time. No time! Well, as a famous man once said, do it again. There is no time. <clears throat> no time to explain. No time to game explain. Mr. No, game explain! Mr. Game explain! Mr. Game explain! <laughs> Don't even care, 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 care. Let's just get the star coin and leave. I cannot get a word at all. <laughs> I was trying to say there's actually an indie game called No Time to Explain. Oh. That's all I was trying to say. Okay. I played it. Okay. Mm. Oh no! Mm. What? I was gonna. I almost said equals hug in the wrong chat. <laughs> do oh, it. Okay. Do okay. it in. Do it in the wrong chat to be funny. Wow. Well, I would have done. I would have done somebody's DM. <laughs> And I've done it before where I've done like forward slash stop for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I think you did that to my DMs once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I was in hub chat. I think yeah, and I think I was just like lol silly Jason or something. Yeah. Get ready to run. Just to be different. Don't stop. Go! The heart of the cards! Yeah, boy! Oh, okay. Oh. The ground! <laughs> ba 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 da. Ba ba da. Bop bop! Okay. Got this. Little. Bop bop! No, 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 no! Fuck! I love video games. I do too. You're a great escape. How about you? Don't you love to do some of my bros Wii for the Nintendo Wii? <laughs> <laughs> I remember just for, <laughs> for making a stupid tweet. Well, it's literally just new Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> no context, and that was it. <laughs> it was like... Coming soon to you. Coming soon to Nintendo Wii. And then one of the replies was just, yes. I think it's better if you hit it some below. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's better. I messed it up. Ah! Oh, oh, we're fucked. Wow, that's like... Wow, that is very precise. <laughs> Gotta move the star corner over a few in. God. Oh. Hmm? 
Okay, I remember. Okay, I remember one being one of these stages being like a desert level with moving platforms. There's like one that's like an ice level that um, is like it's a it's like a vertical platforming stage. Um, I think the other ones are just nine seven and the cloud one. Oh, I love nine eight. Mm. Go. Oh! Go! Wow. Okay. Thanks. Okay, from yeah, we're getting a block from below. Uh. Huh, huh. Any, any sort of hesitation is lost. Scrappy, save us with uh, uh some something snarky or funny. Post memes. Life is a meme. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's Xavier. I can't feel my tongue. <sighs> Why? Why do you so blasted hot? Hot pocket. Cock pockets. What? Re irresistibly H. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that YouTube poop I put in oh, Rockle. Like I'm sorry, but it's not like you said cock pockets. I did. <laughs> We're gonna need to take a seat right over there. <laughs> House. Cock pocket. Harry, 2020. <laughs> House. I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. <laughs> I don't even this know. Is child we it was a child friendly channel. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> child friendly since I started joining the commentaries. <laughs> Copa! Oh god, don't get me started. Okay, I'll end it. Lose monetization. You can't lose monetization. monetization if you never had it. I did have oh, it. At, I did have it at one point, but I, I, uh, YouTube said no. You're not having it anymore. Wait, you actually got paid for a little bit. Uh, yes, but like, yeah, not a lot. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Like, I was lucky to get like, well, like fifty cents like every month. <laughs> I have, I have literally destroyed my, the insides of my mouth right now.